Hi everyone, I'm George and this is my new Fluval Flex Aquarium. This video is going to show you all about it, why I set it up, how I set it up. There's going to be some cinematic footage at the end and then please watch it all the way through to the end because I've got a really important announcement and question for you. So if you do enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell and you'll get notified every time we upload a new video. Many of you may be aware that Tropica Aquarium Plants sponsor this channel. As a consequence, I've done a collaboration with them. The aim is to show you guys that you can hopefully create something like this just by using products exclusively available at one pet store. So in my case, it's at Pets at Home. It's two miles from my house. I'm using mostly Tropica products. So Tropica soil, Tropica hardscape, all Tropica plants, Tropica basic aerosol CO2 system and Tropica liquid fertilizer. The aquarium is a flea valve flex. Now there's lots of reviews on this aquarium on other channels. I'll leave a link to one of my favorites from Pectech. But the overall aim is to show you guys that you can hopefully achieve something similar without having to resort to really high-end products, which are relatively hard to find for some people. You can hopefully potentially go to your local pet store, get everything you need and create something beautiful like this. So the next part of the video is going to go through the full step-by-step -step from the empty aquarium right through to fully planting it. I'll explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, I'll go through all the plant species, etc. Okay, step one is to put our Tropica aquarium soil in so you'll know all about its benefits. Feeding the plant roots. Really good for the entire aquarium system. Reduces the pH, reduces the hardness a little bit. Makes it ideal for most fish and plants. Great home for bacteria as well. So I reckon two bags is going to be plenty. Okay, next step is to put our decor in. So we've got Tropica Driftwood and some Tropica Lava Stones. That's probably all we need really. Just one rock and one piece of wood. Okay, so now it's time to plant. We use our foreground plants at the front of the tank and I always plant into dry soil. I find this is easier, less messy and it tends to hold the plants better. When you're filling up with water, you don't get so many floaters. So we've got our foreground plant there, Liliopsis brasiliensis. I can split this up into several portions for more economical coverage. Really healthy plants, these from Tropica. And then we use some tweezers. Grab our plant in between the tweezers and then push it in. It doesn't really matter how far you push it in as long as it holds the plant in and the roots are in contact with the soil. Eventually this is going to send out runners, hopefully form a solid carpet effect across the front of the tank. Next I'm going to plant some Sagittarius subulata. You know, plants such a huge benefit to an aquarium system. Produce oxygen, give the fish shelter and security, take in harmful nutrients, help prevent algae, and just promote a healthy, a healthy system for all the livestock, you know, for, the, for shrimp, for fish, for bacteria. They're just a really good thing. Moving on to our mid-ground plant, got some Lobelia cardinalis. This is the mini pot. So we don't even have to prepare it like we did before. We can literally push it in to the soil and there we have it planted. How easy was that? Now we've got some Bogopa compact. So this will stay relatively short. So I'm thinking this will be good as a mid-ground plant just behind our foreground plants. Okay, another mid-ground plant, Cryptocorani willisii. Do love Cryptocorani's, slow growing, don't need much light. Easy to maintain. Split it up again and get four plants out of that one. Easy, all five. Now it's time to move on to our background plant. So we've got a Hygrophilus simensis. 
53B here for the background. This is a blister pot with a large variety. Take out the stems from the pot. Remove the stone wool. Loads of stems in here, great value. It smells exactly like the Tropica greenhouses. Beautiful. Yes, gosh, that is a really distinctive, beautiful smell. I'm actually off to Tropica very soon. I go there every month. This is a, a really great privilege. If you ever get the opportunity to go to Denmark, it's a beautiful country, lovely people, really clean, very efficient. So this is a fast growing stem plant, ideal for starting an aquarium. You really want to plant with fast growing plants if you can, really helpful in the aquarium's initial stages, helps to fight off algae, which can be quite troublesome in a new setup as the, as the whole kind of biological processes balance out, it can take a little while. So having fast growing stem plants really help speed everything up, speed up these processes. Now we've got some Rotala rotunda folia in the mini pot. Again, we don't need to prepare that, we can just pop the pot in. Super easy. Bacopa cavalliana, same again with the mini pot. Let's pop that one about there. Great, now I'm just going to give the plants a spray to stop them from drying out too much. And our final kind of focal point plant, which is an epiphyte plant or rhizome plant. This is a plant that attaches to the wood or rock or both. Ter Microsorum terraplus, otherwise known as Java fern. Really popular plant, uh, very easy, very adaptable, undemanding. Get rid of as much of the stone wood as you can. And then what I like to do is just wedge it in between the wood and the rock and then that will self-attach after a few weeks as the rhizome creeps along. And there we are, planted complete apart from the floating plant which we'll add once we've filled with water. Okay, so we're filled with water. Now it's time to add a few floating plants. I don't want to put too many in here because it will block the light out. But they are very helpful in a new aquarium to help reduce the risk of algae. And then finally, fit our CO2 kit here. So there we have our finished planted aquarium using the Fluval Flex Aquarium from Pets at Home and exclusively tropical products. Definitely see some growth in the next few days. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to maintaining it. Planted aquariums, really beneficial for the fish. So you choose the right aquarium, choose the right plants, choose the right fish, and you'll have a happy home and a successful aquarium.
Okay guys, thanks so much for watching right to the end. As promised, I've got a question for you. Uh, is, what should I scape in here? The Aquascaper 600. I'm thinking either classic nature aquarium or really high-end nature aquarium, super complex hardscape, etc. Or alternatively, uh, biotope style scape. Um, let me know in the comments. And if you want to, you have the opportunity to help me do it. So come to my home, I'll host you for the day. You have to be in charge of your own travel, you have to get here. Just answer in the comments who you'd like to get the opportunity to escape with me. And the best comment, and the one that I like the most, it's the most sort of entertaining, uh, and, the, and the best idea wins, and I'll get in contact with you uh, as appropriate. So let, let me know in the comments, guys, what should I escape in here, and if you're interested in escaping it with me. Okay, I'm gonna sign off there. Really hope you enjoyed that film, something a bit different. Uh, hopefully shows you guys that you can create a really healthy, beautiful planted aquarium just by shopping at your local pet store. So give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. You take care, keep on scaping. Cheerio.